hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create a clipping mask using a Hazy Skies Designs template. So first we want to open our template in Photoshop and you do that simply by right clicking on the PSD file and uh, selecting open with Photoshop. Or you can go to the top of your screen up here and select file open and locate the file. Next we want to um, either hide or delete our guide layer. The guide shows you where the trim line is going to be. This is the approximate trim line. We want to keep any text inside the cyan box. Anything important needs to stay inside the cyan box. We want to extend our design though to the end of the template because again this is only an approximate line and we don't want to uh, be left with a white border. So to hide the guide you can simply click on the eye next to the layer and then you can click the eye again to make it visible. Or you can select the layer and drag it down to the trash can to delete it. Next we want to click on our photo mask layer. It's very important that you select the photo mask layer first. The reason for that is the photo needs to be placed above the photo mask layer in order to create the clipping mask. So when we highlight this layer, it automatically is going to place the image above the photo mask layer. Next, we're gonna open our photo. And you can simply click on the photo and drag it over to the template. I'm using a WHCC template, so you're going to get the profile mismatch. That's fine, just click OK. And we can click on the photo and move it into place. So again, because we selected the photo mask layer first, it automatically put our image layer above the photo mask layer. There's a couple ways uh, to create a clipping mask, but we're going to go ahead and use this one, this method. We're going to click the drop down arrow right here and go to create clipping mask. Next to this is a shortcut. You can see the shortcuts in here. I'm using a Mac. This is a shortcut to create a clipping mask on a Mac. If you're using a PC, it'll give you the shortcut to uh, create a clipping mask on a PC. So let's go ahead and select that. And what the clipping mask does is it makes this image layer take the shape of the layer below it. Okay, so let's click our layer, our image layer, and you can move it around in place. If you need to resize your image, we want to resize it proportionately, so we are going to go to edit at the top of our screen transform and then we're going to select scale I'm going to move my image up a little you can use an up and down arrows to um, move your image around as well so once we select uh, transform and, and scale it's going to put a box around our image uh, have your mouse right over the corner and you're going to see an arrow up here. We want to click the mouse down on the corner and hold down the shift button at the same time and drag the image in. It's very important that you hold down the shift button um, along with uh, your mouse to make sure that the image resizes proportionately. So once we have it to the size that we like, you can go ahead and click enter. And again, you can use the arrows to move the image around. And that's it, that's how you create a clipping mask.